five minutes. Test? Okay. May I begin? Oh, sorry. Hey everyone, my name is Mayor Pansito Kamara. Now I want to be your City Youth Council Chair just before I begin. You know what? I'm not going to sit here and read an essay that I wrote last night to you guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you from one student to another. To quickly talk about myself, I'm a grade 12 student and I have a deep love and passion for politics. I have competed internationally and won internationally with main, uh, competitions. And in addition, I went on TV and talked about and promoted City Youth Council. But more importantly, my philosophy, if I was elected CYCTO Chair, is to do that good isn't good enough and we can always do better. For example, let's take the TTC. The TTC is good, sure, but it can do a lot better. Look at Beijing, New York, Vancouver, Tokyo. All their subway systems are amazing. They have the newest and modern technology. Yet look at our system. It is old and outdated and hasn't done anything in years. And there's a simple reason for why that is. The reason is, is that the TTC has become too political. What has happened is that the People have been using the TTC to get their own way, to get media spotlight, and they haven't been looking in the best interest of the TTC. What we need to do is we need to make the TTC an independent public organization, similar to Toronto Hydro. This will give it the authority and the power it needs to make decisions, to actually get something done. To prove my point, let me give you an example. Look at the LRT debate. The original LRT program was supposed to start in 2001. It's 2012, 11 years later, and we haven't done anything. And not to mention the fact that we've spent $50 million on random support, on studies and reports that have got us nowhere closer to the actual result. That is why we need to give authority. We need to start making decisions. Remember that these things will take almost 20 years to build. That means when we're 40, we might finally have a subway system in Tarbo. And really, do you want to live in an environment where you have to drive, where you have to pollute the environment to get around? That is not what I want to believe. And remember, this hurts the poor and the students the most. But you know who else gets, who else suffers from the indecision of City Hall? The environment. The environment is one of the most important aspects of our society completely. And a simple solution is that using LED lights. Right now, we use old, outdated 1970s technology, high pressure sodium lights. Why do we continue to do this? LED lights are more effective. If Toronto were to replace all our lights with LED lights, we would save $6 million a year, and we would only pollute a fifth of what we did before. This is what's been done in San Antonio, this is what's been done in Los Angeles, and this is what we need to do. But what does this all mean? This means that there are solutions out there to solve old age problems. This also means that we, as youth, as the young people, we have, the, we have to have the power and the, we have to advocate for these issues. If I am elected your city youth council chair, I will make sure that students are made a force to be reckoned with. That we will not sit by and stand by while politicians play with our lives. That we will make sure that students matter in politics again. And as your city youth council chair, I can't say that I will find all the solutions. I can't say that it will be easier, simple, and I can't even say that anyone will listen. All I can offer is that you will have a strong, confident leader to represent the youth of Toronto. But before I end my speech, I would like to leave you with one last point. People say that the youth are our future. I disagree. As students, we're here now. We're strong now, and we have to get the job done.